Take a seat over there for a while. While still people go to us. Okay, so dear travelers, let me introduce myself. My name is Dean. I will do guiding tour for you. It will take approximately 45 minutes. After the trip, you can walk by yourself and be here until 6 o'clock. If after the trip you feel tired, you can do some extra activities like a foot massage, improve your blood circulation. It's 200 baht per hour. We also have this pond with many, many fish for rowing boat activities and elephant riding at that direction. But before we start, let me briefly introduce to the construction process. In terms of design, after we got blueprint from the founders, we want to show that this artwork is done piece by piece. First, our specialists, they will choose what kind of wood, how many pieces. It has to be immersed in chemical, prevent the termites. Only after this, we can conduct the real artwork. And we live in the world of high technologies, progress, globalization. To find our space in the world, we need to work more hard. Problems with wealth, social status, the meaning of human life decrease. This is how chaos begins. The founders want to show future generation 
how we can live in harmony and peace by communicating through the art. Okay, so follow me please, we can walk and see. We arrange our tour this way. We will pass through different departments and you will see how with the help of chisel and hammer they create this beautiful artwork. And some places can be a little bit noisy, a little bit dusty, but at the same time, you have unique opportunities, chance to see all the process. We don't have WC inside the museum. One WC is here, after this bridge. Another one next to the exit. Okay, this way. As you know, in Thailand, there are three seasons. Hot, very hot, and very, very hot. So, nowadays, it's very, very hot. No, this is my This one is lace machine. Over there, one of the modification of the lace machine. This one, with the help of that machine, the wood timber take shape of round form. And we use different kind of hardwood. We use like a rosewood, iron wood, mahogany, balao. All this wood they bought legally in different countries next to Thailand. After the trip, you can come back here, spend more time. But now we are moving to the carving department. Carving department this way. How long it will take to make sculpture like this one? Like sculpture like that? Uh, like this one or like that one? Approximately 10 days. Some sculptures it will take one month. For example, this will take nearly one month. Artist team, they don't study in special school. They learn this from generation to generation. Father teach his son, mother teach her mother. One of the unique parts of this project, we don't use nails. But you might see some nails. You might see some nails. These nails is temporary. Later these nails will be removed and changed to be wooden pin and wooden wedge. All the sculptures you see here, they done by this artist team. And the sculptures you will see in Sanjay Museum, also by this artwork. On your left hand side, this machine was modified by the founder himself. You can see the length of this machine nearly 20 meters. You see, right? Nearly 20 meters. And this first column done by the founder himself. We have more than 170 columns inside the museum. So the sculptures they were used to decorate in a space. And sculpture can be different. It depends on the pattern. Like you can see this is a hard decoration, this pattern like this, one pattern like this one. How about this is a similar one? This is a
Guangura in Samoa Pradhan Province. The founder of Zeta Sarai, 22 years ago at the age of 86. Now, the family is continuing to make it work. And now we are coming to the other construction of the Indian Ogama, where the Indian Ogama is the same. female technique. So one column can be two or three pieces. I will show you one column which made from the one whole piece of wood, no joined together. Whole, single, single wood. And this one at the base of the columns and balconies. At the base of the columns and balconies, dovetail. Finger join. Finger join we use at the beam at this part of construction. So one centimeter is here, ten centimeter is over there. 1 to 10 scales, bigger join. This is a flower. You can see how we join these two pieces of wood with a butterfly join. How about if we have more than two pieces of wood? We use long dovetail. We can adjust as many as you want, 5 to 10. And if we don't have much wood, we use dovetail. As you see, don't need to use much wood to make them together. Tangle wood. Tangle glue, this is a parquet for the floor and for the wall. It depends on the skills of our team. And lab joint, lab joint for the floor. Okay, so just like an introduction for the this process and we continue our tour. This way, while we walk around, you can make some pictures and you can make picture more after the trip. You can come back to the place where you like the most. As you see, different colors. Ground one and gray. Until 2016, didn't use any painting. After 2016, start to paint, protect from wind, from sun, and from salt. And this project inspired by one of the palaces in Ayutthaya city, Rajinang Sampet Mahaprasa, and was built as Chaturamu in four directions. From the south hall to the north hall, 100 meters. From the east to the west, 100 meters. And this project inspired by different kind of art style in East Asia, Thai, Cambodian, Indian, and Chinese. Okay, this way, please follow me. But we cannot tell you which hall represent which style because it's a mix. Contemporary art, Ratanako scene here. And this is another temple. This is a museum. On your right hand side, this exhibition relates to the project of King Roman 9. You can come back later, read about this project, like National Parks, Fish Farm, Baby Farm. But once a year, we have special ceremony. People from five different religions visit this place, like the Christians, Buddhist monks, Brahmin, Sikh, and Muslim. But this is a, not a temple. We can divide this project in three main parts. Three main parts. This is a five tiers room. From the lowest one to the highest one. Here, here. Now, Yeah. Not now. After finish the tour. 
And uh, at the front gate, all let us look at these captures. I will show you. This is a Narasimha mantra. This one, Narasimha mantra. Behind with many hands, this is a Durga. Both of them symbolize victory, goodness over the evil. This is from Hindu. You can see how we use the leftover power. We don't throw away the leftover. It still can be used. We use the same word for so many years and for these captures. Over there is there for elephant parking. We have two elephants. We have Mahawus who are taking care of the elephants. And veterinarian who look after the elephants. Is it for excellent activities? What word is it for Hamilton? You might ask me. Why is this project built next to the sea? Because the sea makes people come down. And compared with the ocean, they are very small. So we can see how to be more humble. And now let us talk about the base. This is a plain base. As you see, no decoration. How about this one? Have you ever seen in Thailand? This one? This is a Singha. This is a mythical lion. Singha? So, this way, please. So, we can divide the base also divided in three layers. This is a plain base. As you see, no decoration. This is a Singha leg, lion's leg. On the top, inspired by the lotus flower. Lotus flower. That between decorations tell us about Thai culture. Thai culture was created to connect people in society, bring peace. You can see here, roster fighting. Next one is coconut shell shoes. Children play with coconut shell. And fake horse made from banana trees. Fake horse. In the past, Thai people, they were rice farmers. This is a rice burning ceremony. Rice burning ceremony. Next one is harvesting rice. Harvesting rice together. And everyone can see the block of society. And cat parade. Cat parade. Here. Yeah. They believe the cat, they have magic power. So they place cat into the cage. You can see clearly here, all these carvings are meaningful. So they place cat into the cage, carry them, dancing, praying, asking for the rain. So, but don't worry, nothing would happen to the cats after they set them free. And this ceremony very easy, recognized by the people from northeastern part of Thailand or from Isan. We call cat parade. Ramayana epic. Ramayana epic tells us in every society there is good and bad. But the end of the day, goodness wins over the evil. This one, you can see the, around the whole museum. And I just want to remind you, we don't use nails, but you might see some nails. You can see the head of the nails here. And another part. So this is a temporary. Later these nails will be removed and changed to be wooden pin and wooden wedge. So this hole complete 85%. Only this hole. But when this very will be completed, we cannot tell you. Because this is a wood next to the sea. With the passage of time, the wood is decaying. Nothing is lost forever. Now we're moving to the part of the museum. You can see the balcony. This is the balcony we call Sinha Banchor. This balcony, Sinha Banchor. It was granted in special occasions for special ceremonies. For example, when Thursday, Thursday King, he would appear, he would stand at the balcony with three people. And the balcony is great with a cloud. We're working on a car with the flowers, leaves, and branches. Which symbolize beauty, wealth, and sympathy. So after the trip, you can do like this. Someone standing at the balcony, someone outside, you can make photo.
We have different kind of visitors. We have disabled, we have elderly. These people can use elevator. Do you have anyone who need to use elevator? Elevator is here. Some people say elevator look like London telephone boxes. Some people say look like microwave. Some people say look like ancient Thai lamp, uh, just only lamp. Okay, this way. So it can carry 250 kilograms. So do we have anyone who want to use? No. Okay, so, and the only part of this elevator made of not only wood, but metal construction because it's a hydraulic. Okay? So who we are? Where do we come from? How to survive? What's the purpose of life? All these questions, the answers waiting for you to explore in the Sanctuary of Truth Museum. But before we get into the museum, another sculpture, you can see, three-head elephant with the Indra sitting on the elephant. Indra symbolized to be good leader, reject all negativity, negative mind, negative word, negative action. And four-faced Brahma symbolized four golden state of mind, loving kindness, compassion, sympathetic joy, equanimity. Equanimity, not to be easy, angry, calm down.
这帮同学帮我出，一个帮我出，帮我出，快一点。